Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. We are about to watch the DLC 3 Gorald Crovey reveal trailer for the first time. Haven't seen it yet. I'm so freaking excited. Can't wait to get into this. We're going to be breaking it down a little bit as soon as I've watched it. But first of all, let's just actually react to the damn thing. Let's go. Press Peggy play. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. There's the dragon logo and the statues. This city. Hey, Nikolai, how you doing? Belinsky Square? Has seen more. Than it's Yo, it's huge. Well, it looks huge at least. It has been witness to horrors that would make most souls oh, man. question the very concept. Of oh man, that itself. armored zombie! Ay, caramba, and there's fire. It has been known by many names. It looks so large. But I know it as Stalingrad. Stalingrad. City of blood. Yo, hello. This looks so good. Trap, nice. What the hell? This should do job. Job of killing. I mean... Yo! <laughs> yeah, baby! We don't need any fire here, dragon. We do not feel cold. Jesus. And those things look... I mean, they're gonna probably be very annoying. Flying! What the hell? It, what the... It, what? Oh, the shield looks sick. What is that? What the hell? What was... Oh, that's the thing that... Some kind of drop right, pod? Dempsey, once more what was that in the box? Sake. The PPSH <laughs> is back! Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yo, they were riding it. It had the collar on it. Were they just riding that dragon? Bro, we are watching this again right now. Holy moly! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, this is just, this is too hype. This is too, there's so much this stuff city. in this map. Belinsky Square. That is just cool in itself. More than its share of pain. See, more than its share of pain. Yes, mate. It has been witness to horrors. That zombie. That would make most That car. It's been stepped on, mate. concept of humanity itself. Uh, quick revive in the back there. Noted. It has been known by many names. Oh man, it looks so What is that I thing on the left? There's loads of like flesh God. and Oh it's a dead dragon! City Holy cow! Blood. Bro. Oh my goodness. Those freaking like this skeleton electric job of killing. I can't believe they brought the PP back as well, man. They actually did it. Dragon is we don't roasting need any fire here, dragon. We do not feel cold. Boom! He's gonna use this this new wonder weapon thing in a moment as well. The shield actually first of all. Oh, it had like a little green effect. That thing, whatever that was, like charge with a man. And the drop pod thing. I mean, what that's gonna actually be? Right, Once more for old So much sake. cool stuff in the box, but then the PP Ooh. freaking SH. And they're on the dragon. They are on that dragon. All four of them are on the collar, flying around. Bro, this map is gonna be insane. And it, that's how it ends. Get the season pass now. Four DLC packs. <laughs> that, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words, man. The excitement right now is through the roof. I'm going to go through it one more 18. time. I'm gonna. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute it, okay? And I'm going to go through it. Run, what? Run, I can't even speak. One more time and just sort of stutter our way through, taking a look at the environment, taking a look at the scenery. It's literally called Belinsky Square. I'm done. That's just fan service at its finest. Showing us this room here with that big ball, which says 935 on it, which we couldn't actually see before. So whatever that thing is going to be is somewhat unclear right now. The map itself is looking great. One thing that I've just spotted that looks really interesting is there's like a sort of staff looking thing sticking out of the building in the background there. Interesting. Liking the fact that there's like crashed planes and stuff everywhere. That's cool. Nikolai looking like a mouse. Like a mouse. Then moving through. The sort of slats come down there. Is that a new form of rebuildable barrier? A new form of barricade that we're going to be able to use? Quite possibly. It's definitely potentially going to happen, I think. Then a mounted minigun. A mounted turret. 
Haven't seen those since World at War, so that's damn cool. That's some fan service as well. And spraying into what looks like a sort of no man's landy area there. A zombie with a freaking sickle on its arm. It's like attached to the zombie's arm. That's freaking cool. If we can't use a sickle in this map, oh my goodness, I will be disappointed. But, I mean, one's got like a big, massive mounted... Oh, he's got a minigun on its other arm as well. Yikes. Yikes. I hope we don't start getting shot up by those zombies. That would be really rather annoying, I'm telling you. But... We then see a panning shot of the sort of square here. Broken robot. It's a Russian robot as well, not a 935 robot, which is really interesting. Seeing the players run through with some destruction in the background. Zombie there. This dude, skeleton man over here, but it's not really a sort of skeleton in the traditional sense that we saw in Der Eisendracher, because those skeletons were literally just skeletal. This is more like a very corroded zombie. It's a cross between a zombie and a skeleton, in my opinion. It's still got flesh hanging off its bones. There's another one in the background as well. You can see it's it's bald, essentially. It's not got any skin or anything on its head, but it does have bits of meat just swinging from the rest of its body. So that's pretty cool. Gobblegum there. Is there going to be a gobblegum that we haven't seen before? Quite possibly. I'll have to look at that in my full breakdown. I won't be doing that now. This is just going to be a quick run through of the trailer itself. That dragon looking absolutely beastly. Love it. Absolutely love it. Keeps going through. Black screen. Dragon. Dragon mate. So we see that zombie there do its little thing, <laughs> whatever that's going to be. Going to be interesting to find out what that exactly is. Have they already pack-a-punched here? Are we seeing the pack-a-punch camo on those things? Maybe. Flying thing with the, th the those things? Like, what? 935, what have you done? Is this a weird twisted incarnation of the Maxis drone that we're seeing here? Some extension of that technology? It looks like it's a sort of scorpion drone thing? Looks very, very weird. And it looks like they're going to be diving all over the place as well. I guess they're reusing that parasite technology, am I right? Bringing that back in, which is cool. The shield here, which you fire this kind of green blast with, which looked really cool. So again, that's going to be fun to use. And then it looks like what he's using here, just as we go back a little bit, he's using potentially one of the guns. Oh, no, wait, is that a fist? Bro. That's a fist. Thunder fists are back? With a twist? Like, thunder charge fist? I mean, I'm down, I am game, but I can't wait to see more of whatever that, that thing is. Also, what was that street sign there? There was another street sign, just want to quickly go back. Okay, Supply Depot. So, a little bit more tame. Speed Cola in the top left. Nice to see that good old Speed Cola perk returning. That is great. Then we see some more zombies looking very Russian with the little hats on and things like that, so that's pretty cool. And some really nice art and stuff in the background as well, sort of murally type thing. And a freaking... Uh, whatever that's called, a flipper, a flopper, a, a, a thing. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called right now, but a, a tram flipper thingamabob. That's cool. Interesting to see that's coming back. Those guns as well are in here now, so that is a cool addition as well. Red flag in the background there with the Russian vibe being continued. And then we see this thing. This thing was on the wall in the first screenshot we had of this map. There was a schematic for it. But what exactly it is remains a mystery. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Very interesting. It starts spinning up and it looks pretty cool. So it's going to be important, I'm sure. Let's go through this nice and slowly. That thing looks like the wave gun from Moon. What? Unless it's the ray gun Mark III. But it can't be the Raygun Mark III. That honestly looks like the wave gun from Moon. And the interesting thing is that on the Moon, okay, it's a 935 facility, but there's Russian up there. The Russians have been to the Moon. They have seen that tech. And so for them to have their own version of the wave gun, it makes sense. It actually makes sense. Let's keep going through, see if there's anything else that is of interest in that box. It comes up again, they show it to us twice, just to tease us, and then boom. The PPSH, man. The PP freaking SH is back with a vengeance. The excitement is real. And here, this is a cinematic shot. This could well be from the intro to this map. They might fly from Zetsubo no Shima all the way to this map on the back of a dragon. It's more than possible. In Zesabo no Shima, we see the schematics for the seat on the back of a dragon. Glitching Queen pointed them out to me yesterday and she was like, Milo, have you seen these? And I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. But we're actually seeing the characters riding the dragon now. 
which in itself is just, I mean, let's just take stock for a moment. Eight years ago, when Zombies was was beginning, was emerging from its shell with Verrukt and with Shinonuma, who could have guessed that in eight years' time, we would be riding a dragon. Mental. Completely mental. I love it, but it's mental. Planes flying overhead because we know that Jason Blundell loves those things, so that's always great to see. And look at this top-down view of the map, man. If this is all playable, then it is fully- the beacon is fully- fully lit. I mean, that's going to be absolutely insane. Crazy to see just how much space there is in the map itself. Dragon breathing fire. Pretty standard shot. Boom. I believe that's going to be the end of the trailer. Is it going to be? It breathes fire for a while. Holy moly. There we go. DLC pack 3 Descent on PS4. The 12th of July 2016. I can't freaking wait to see this thing. I, I, I'm, oh man, I'm just so excited. I am so freaking excited to see more. I can't wait. If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like button with both freaking hands, with your elbow, with your index, that's not your index finger, with your index finger, with your pinky finger, all of it. Just hit the like button, hit subscribe as well, because I am going to go so hard on the info, on the Easter eggs, on the theories, on the story, on the explanations of the gameplay of this map. It's going to be glorious. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying this experience with me. And I'll see you very soon in a full breakdown of this trailer. See you then. Bye-bye.